Thank you for calling in to Smooth 90.5 FM WGSJBC Radio. Who is the caller that I have calling in today? Who is this that I got calling in today? Say it again. My name is Tom Sayers. 
Miss Ayers, well, welcome, welcome. Thank you for calling Smooth 90.5 FM WGSJBC Radio. How are you doing, Miss Ayers? I am good, and I love the station. I've been listening for the last two hours. Well, thank you very much, and continue listening so you'll win $1,000 cash. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's going on in the play white world for you? You are an author, I take it, right? Yes, author, playwright, and now I'm currently working on my first film. Okay. Your first film? Are You, you don't have me on a speakerphone, do you? I do. You want me to take you off? Yeah, I'm picking up feedback, picking up feedback. Okay. All right. Now we're That's back. Better. We're back live on Effect on Smooth 90.5 FM with no speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so let, let's start off. You doing a film? Yes, wow. I'm doing a film. Tell it's me about actually t- based on the play. So okay. the play came from my first book. Okay. Then we did the stage play last year. We had two sold out shows. Okay. And then I came. We decided to go forward and do a feature film. We started filming January 10th. Wow. Uh, we have about six more weeks to go. So you went for the gusto and and went ahead and did a film outside of the play and the book. So what was it like yeah. what was it like going in from a playwright to a movie director? It's been enlightening, it's overwhelming a little bit, but I like to learn and I like challenges. Okay. And on top of that, uh, my film was introduced to a little contest with my play and it won so the stage play is coming back in the fall november 13th and 14th in detroit and we actually had planned on premiering the film that month so now we're trying to figure out what do we do wow wow so tell me a little bit more about it well the um name of the play is called stay in your place it's about a young man who's married and trying to ju- juggle his side pieces, the women on the side. Um, it came from my book, um, same title. And the book was more so kind of a, a joke. It's a satire, pretty much for women who get in relationships with married men or men in relationships. And like, why do you act up and get out of line when he can't see you and can't spend time with you when you knew what you signed up for in the beginning? So it's just about the shine of the character's name. Um, it's played by a local actor, um, Don Snipe. And it's just about the shine trying to juggle the ladies. They're acting up. They're all vying for his attention, and he's got to try to keep it secret from his wife. So it's a, um, I call it an urban romantic comedy. Wow. So how many people are, uh, are the same people that's in your play in the uh, movie as well? Actually, I was able to use my entire cast, except for the lead. Um, she's actually pregnant in real life. So um, everyone agreed to go forward with the film project, and I wrote in an additional storyline, so we have two new actors. Wow. Okay, okay. So I guess everybody's all excited about doing the play. Yeah. I think they were, and, uh, well, fire, well, the thing is with this competition type thing, it's 14 producers working on one play. 14 so producers. we haven't decided, we haven't cast it, so I don't know yet if they're going to allow me to keep my entire cast that was in the original production. Okay, okay. So, you know, you haven't had any problems, everything's been going flowing. Tell me about the book. Oh, well, the book is funny because the book was actually a joke. Um, It's 58 pages, and it was about a supervisor that I used to have. Uh, Her husband was the biggest cheater, and it was crazy how the women would come to her business and contact her when he got out of line. And that was the joke pretty much about it. It's like, why don't these ladies stay in their place? They knew about you, and it's like when he does something... Then they come to him. Um, there's one particular day, uh, there's one chick that he has, it's really funny. She came into the office and said she needed to speak to her, and she came to tell her, she says, well, your husband's been cheating on us. So her thing was, she was okay with the wife. She wasn't okay once he started messing around with another woman. 
So wow. she told. <laughs> so, like I said, it was a big joke, uh, the fat stupid book. Um, I couldn't find a printer that would print uh, 10 books because I just needed 10 books for me and a girlfriend. I found one that would do 50. So I said, okay. So I had the 50 books printed. I bought, but one of us made a mistake. I don't know if it was me or the printer because I got 500 books. And I own a shoe store, a shoe business. I wasn't technically an author. So now I've got 500 books I gotta sell. And so, so, so you went crazy. Oh, 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 I, I got 500 gotta, books in a week out of my shoe store. Everyone loved it, mostly men. Okay, I gotta stop you for a second. I have to stop you for a second. Did you say shoes? I didn't hear you. Did you say shoes? You sell shoes as well? Yes, yes. I'm not my shoe store called the Shoe Lady. You the Shoe Lady? My name on on um, Facebook and everything. I'm known as the Shoe Lady. What kind of shoes do you sell? Women's shoes. Stilettos, too? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All those hot, sexy things. <laughs> all, all, all those hot, is that what you call your shoes? All those hot, sexy things? All those hot, because when men say stilettos, that's all they're thinking about. They're not thinking, oh, it's a cute shoe. It's the combination. It's the shoe with the leg, with the body, with the woman, not just the shoe. Oh, yeah, right. i show you right. <laughs> 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 okay, well, we, we have a... Nice shoe. You're thinking of a person that would look good in that shoe, not... I'm not thinking about... Shoe. I'm not thinking about anything. I was just shocked to hear that you, you sell shoes. I'm like, wow. Um, and, and, yeah. And a pla- years in October. Wow. Right, what do you sell? Jimmy Choo's? Red Bottoms? No, o- that's the high end. Oh. That's the high end because I sell the look for less is what I call it. So Oh, o- Ocho Rios? For the budget conscious shopper. From the average price point, um, between like $45, $55. Oh, okay. So you sell them church shoes. <laughs> no, my shoes are cute. <laughs> you sell the shirt, church shoes, ladies and gentlemen. We have the shoe lady. first lady shoes. We, we, we sell. We have the the the, the shoe lady on the a phone. She's a film uh, film director, a play uh, writer, a stage director, a stage production, a shoe lady, a, a black business entrepreneur, a mother. I don't know. Are you married too? No. Uh, maybe we can work that out on this call. So if anyone wants what? to call in. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she, 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 she's a, a parent. She's a business owner. She's a stage production uh, or uh, actress, uh, author, uh, a film director, a, a producer. When do you have time? You're talking about finding a husband. How are you going to have time for a husband if you on here doing all these things? You, because I, he needs to be a team player and help me build this empire. Okay, but you're not cookie. <laughs> Actually, you're joking, but I have friends that call me cookie. For one, I like my colorful furs. And I do kind of have a hands-on business thing. In the name of my publishing company, I'm also a publisher, book publisher. I publish six books of my own, and I have about seven to nine other authors. And the name of my publishing company is Imperial, but I spell it with an E. And okay. my logo, my motto is, because I'm building an empire one book at a time. One book at so a time. So I thought the irony of the TV show when I've had Imperial Publishing now five years. Well, you're not going to try to sue them because of that, are you? I don't know. They so I think I should sue them, right? Uh, you better be, keep it on the DL. We're going to keep it on the DL. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, she's looking for a husband. Uh, I'm not trying to be the matchmaker. <laughs> I'm trying to find me a wife. No. <laughs> well, here we are. Hey, boo. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop because I got too many people hitting me up like you flirting on your radio show. I, I don't know how I don't know how to flirt. I do not flirt. I don't know what flirting is. And you know what? I don't know how to pick up flirting. I've had friends and they're saying, well, you didn't see he was interested. He was flirting. I was like, no, it just totally goes over my head. Oh, so, so you know what? You have a book on your t- cheating. Tell me about that book. Which book? 
Tell me about that cheating book. Cheaters. Cheaters is the who, what.